program is presented by Infinite Reality, powering the ultimate fan experience in the metaverse. Welcome to round four of the FIM Speedway Grand Prix from the Tetterhof Forests in Germany. The Bergen Arena has produced some dramatic racing over the years and last year was no different. In a race to see who could manage these track conditions the best, it was pa Poland's Patrick Dudek who came out on top, followed by Bartosz Szmarslik and Freddy Lindgren. Dudek is going to want to repeat that success here this year if he's to boost his standings in the overall positions. Dan Bewley on the inside in the red helmet colour. Alongside him in gate number two in blue is Ty Wolfenden. Robert Lambert out of gate number three in white. And Miko Mickelson off the outside in yellow. Here we go then, eight number two. John Marshall's happy and we're underway. And they roar away. Bewley quite comfortably hits the front. Mickelson's made a smashing effort from the outside there, but gets trapped because Robert Lambert now comes into second place. Wolfenden just caught in traffic there and he's out the back but look at Lambert Lambert's forced his way through nicely into second place there classy ride from Robert Lambert Dan Bewley now is going to have to have eyes in the back of his head because Robert Lambert holding the inside line looking very very strong no, I don't think Dan Bewley is going to be leaving any more holes like that for Robert Lambert to uh, take a look at but Robert Lambert super smooth first lap really uh, thinking quick on his feet into the first turn Great cut back, done just enough down the back straight to keep his nose ahead of Mickelson and Ty Wolfenden. But Dan Bewley out qualified everybody today, outpacing them in this one. Yeah, way sharpest there. The, the man of the race, really, and truthfully, is Robert Lambert. Mickelson showed strongly early to get into second place, but Lambert was smart, got himself through into second place and picks up a useful two points. But the three points go to Dan Bewley, and once again showing great form here. Just like he did in Prague seven days ago. Disappointment for Wolfenden. That's uh, alarm bells ringing there right from the word go. Um, uh, he'll be disappointed with that. But uh, right now, Dan Bewley with the big three points and heat number two. Robert Lambert in second place, two points for him. Mickelson back in third, one point. And Ty Wolfenden missing out in his first ride this evening. Doyle is on the inside in red here. Alongside him, gate number two in blue is Kim Nielsen. Rachel Schmarslick will come out of gate number three in white. And Freddie Lindgren off the outside gate in yellow. We are indeed. So the tape's up. He's made, a, uh, he's made a smashing jump. I mean, that was a superb start from Doyle. He hits the front. It's tight there with Schmarslick and Lindgren battling hard, coming down the back straight. Schmarslick just, just about getting his nose in front there. He had to be ruthless. Kim Nielsen left coming in there. And Freddie Lindgren was very much beaten up there down the back straight with that tough move from Schmarslick, the championship leader. Now he's setting about uh, Jason Doyle, who used the advantage of the inside gate superbly well there keep your eyes on smiles lick he's looking very threatening in second place and freddie lingren working hard to try and get the better of kim nielsen yeah the swedes battling at the back lingren knows every point could be vital here in this grand prix smiles keeps having a look around the outside he can't quite generate the speed he needs out there but uh, jason doyle i can't see him moving off the line not at this early stage and uh, certainly freddie lingren continuing to put the pressure freddie on kim lingren. nielsen yeah he's got there Kim Nielsen just lifting at a vital moment, but Jason Doyle remains composed. That's more like it from him. And uh, the inside gate has won the first three races. But he did make a good jump as well. He dropped the clubs absolutely spot on. Hard charging ride from the championship leader, Smarsley. He forces his way into second place. He really doesn't hang about at all, does he? He came charging through. So Jason Doyle out in front. Three points for him, two points for Smarsley, one for Freddie Lindgren. And Kim Nielsen, unfortunately, just missing out there, just made a mistake. 
And so the line-up then for heat number five is Jack Holder, third in the world right now, goes from the inside in red. Leon Madsen, the world number two, coming out of gate number two in blue. Gate number three in white is Dan Bewley, and Bartosz Marslik, the championship leader, goes from the outside. Here we are then, heat number five. Star Marshall's uh, happy. Long, long pause. Oh, my goodness. Jack Holder's made a great start. Smarzik's there as well. He's going to chop back. Can he? Can he get around the outside of Leon Madsen? Somehow he managed to do that. Dan Bewley's at the back, but Jack Holder slams the door shut going into turn number three, and he needed to because Smarzlik was hunting him down. How did Smarzlik get around the outside of Leon Madsen? I really don't know. He just works that bike so very hard indeed, and he's setting about Jack Holder out in front. Holder in front, once again looking very accomplished. Yeah, absolutely. Cracking start from the inside. Leon Madsen just had a little bit of a nibble with the clutch before the tapes went up. That unsettled him and allowed Jack Holder to get away cleanly. Smarzik with a good good first lap. He's just settling now. I think he's going to be quite happy uh, with two points from gate four. Best result from that gate so far this evening. And uh, Dan Bewley looks so good in his first one, but it's tough coming from gate three, statistically the worst gate, and he's just not able to uh, make any impression on this race. Holder out in front, he's ridden a superb ride there. Bartosz Marsley working overtime to pick up another second place. And a solid performance from the championship leader. He just keeps grinding away, picking up the points. Delight for Holder, you can see that. And uh, that was a very, very strong lineup. And Holder comes out in front with three points for him. Smartly back in second place, two points. One point for Leon Madsen and Dan Bewley missing out. And I think we're going to see a bit of that. Could well be a yo yo night for scoring. Martin Vasilik is on the inside, and he's got the red helmet colour. Gate number two in blue is Jason Doyle. Gate three in white is Kai Hulkenbeck. Robert Lambert on the outside in yellow tonight. So settling down for heat number six. Jason Doyle there, a touch impatient. He's missed the start because Martin Vasilik has made a superb start off the inside. Doyle hugging the inside. Here comes Lambert. Lambert down the outside, but Doyle is not an easy man to pass. Oh, what an effort from Lambert. He just literally stormed around the outside into turn three. That was exceptional bit of speedway riding from Robert Lambert to get the better of Jason Doyle. Who can back out the back? But I tell you what, Chris, how on earth did he manage to do that and they didn't collide? No, once again, Robert Lambert just showing how quickly he thinks on that opening lap. Real smart move and then bravery to pin Jason Doyle down. He's not a rider that will stop and just let that happen. If he thinks he can, he'll continue to ride through the gap. But Robert Lambert didn't leave him one and he's settled down now into second place. But a great ride for Martin Vasilik enjoying himself out front. He is indeed. Martin Vasilik going great guns. Superb start. Loves these conditions. I was talking to Phil Morris saying he likes the track. Didn't want him to change it. And uh, certainly he uh, picks up his first win of the evening in fine he, style. He said it was an observation, you Kelvin. I think it was a bit of a moan myself, but there we are. <laughs> but, uh, there we go. Uh, he's not moaning now because he's out front winning races and uh, picking up where he left off last week. Winning in such uh, fine fashion. So three points for Martin Vasilik. He'll be chuffed to bits with that. Two points are very good points for Robert Lambert. Brave two points. So on the inside in red is Kim Nielsen. Gate number two in blue is Matej Janowski. Gate three in white is Ty Wolfenden. Anders Thompson off the outside in yellow. Matej Janowski and Ty Wolfenden have both won at this track. So they know what it takes. They've both struggled so far, you've got to say, in the Grand Prix series. And um, uh, certainly Wolfenden, after failing to score in his first ride, will be looking to get amongst the bigger points this time. So pressure on right from the get-go here. Tapes are up and we're away. Nielsen's made a smashing start on the inside. Anders Thompson now gets across from the outside. Oh, is that outside going to work? It is! Anders Thompson, fabulous stuff from him. Trusted the bike, didn't clamp down to the inside, and a bike fired him to the front. Janowski now coming through into third place with Ty Wolfenden trying to... Oh, oh Wolfenden's out of shape. Oh, he's all over the place, and Janowski's able to squeeze back up the inside of Wolfenden. But I tell you what, Anders Thompson, for the first time tonight, we've seen a rider get a little bit of extra grip off the mid-track part, and he got himself to the front, he's going to win a race. Yeah, we're seeing one or two riders now letting the uh, bike run around the first turn from gate four. It's just beginning to work now as Anders Thompson got the better of Kim Nielsen on the opening lap. You can see once again, look how tight Magic Janowski's riding. He's riding through gate two. That is not the fastest way around the track, and that is uh, having no confidence in the speed you've got under you. 
Oh, he's struggling there, and Ty Wolfenden, second time of asking, is failing to score, but for Anders Thompson, a return to form. That maximum last night in Poland certainly paying off there. Trusted himself, ripped around the outside in the first corner. Superb stuff from the Danish rider. Good to see. He had a nasty injury last year. He's taken his time to come back to form, but it's more like it for him. Three massive points for Thompson. Kim Nilsson, a handy second place for the Swedish rider, too. One point for Janowski, who was off the pace, and Ty Wuffenden. Zero points after two outings. That's concern there for their camp. So the lineup then is Robert Lambert on the inside in red, Patrick Dudek out of gate number two in blue, Leon Madsen with a warning of uh, gate number three in white, and Kim Nilsson with a second place last time, a good ride from him. Heats number nine. Green light comes on, takes her up sharpish, and uh, Robert Lambert has made a smashing start. Kim Nilsson's there on it. Ooh. On the inside, Patrick Dudek grabbing a load of grip coming through midway through the first and second corner, but Kim Nielsen just about hangs on to second place, slams the door shut. There are one or two ruts appearing on the inside, but Kim Nielsen's done well there to hang on to it. But Robert Lambert Ooh. certainly running wide there. Track just beginning to chop up a bit. Leon Madsen now coming on strong. Madsen round the outside, just committing himself, but that's leaving the door open for Dudek. Can Dudek get amongst the picture? But Lambert's cleared off out in front. Yeah, Lambert. Oh, uh, Madsen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Big mistake from Madsen. We saw Lambert coming into the corner of the lap before, just collecting a rut on the way in and skating across the track. It's just been freshly watered after a track ride. It's making conditions a little bit tricky. The rut's catching the riders out. We can hear the bikes as the uh, engine stalls when they hit a rut. And uh, once again, Kim Nielsen just doing a good job holding on to second place. Robert Lambert, though, has won very comfortably indeed. First race win of the night, moves on to seven points, going along very sweetly indeed. Made the start, got a bit out of shape at times, but had the speed, had the strength to hang on to the bike at times. And his supporters clearly delighted with the result. Three points for Lambert then. Kim Nielsen with another second place. Good ride from him too. Patrick Dudek working hard for one point and Leon Madsen missing out that time. Technology is all around. But technology alone is not enough. For me, the drive is everything. The all-new, all-electric Lexus RZ. Sauvage, elixir, deal. Aldi's 
Super 6 from just 29p. Save a wedge on your fresh fruit and veg. In store now. You know that feeling? When you're out of data and you're out of control? But not with EE. With Stay Connected Data, you can keep using essential apps like WhatsApp and Maps, even when you've run out. Count on EE to make your data go further. Only on the UK's best network. Search EE Stay Connected Data. When life throws you a curve, he's on the edge of the dirt. Meaning, pick your line and hold on tight. Look at him go, absolutely jet propelled. British Speedway, Monday, 7.30, live on Eurosport 2 and Discovery+. Plus. Lingering on the inside in red, yes, he has changed his bike. Uh, gate number two in blue is Dan Bewley. Gate number three in white is Matze Janowski. Another rider who's changed his equipment. And Kai Huckenbeck goes from the outside in the yellow helmet colour. So riders beginning to just roll the dice a bit here, searching for something that they can't find on their original bikes. So if it's not working, then drag the other one out, Chris, and yeah, just give it a run. To, you've got to do it early enough. It's, it's no good waiting till your last ride and wishing you'd done it sooner. Here we go then, heat number 10. Oh, Janowski moved big time on the start and penalised himself, so hence there's no red light on. Dan Aykroyd, the referee, rightly allowing the race to continue. Freddie Lindgren nails the start off the inside. And at this early stage, he looks accomplished on that uh, change of equipment. Bewley coming under pressure from Huckenbeck. But uh, Bewley responding and now stamping his authority on second place. But Huckenbeck is lurking. Janowski with a... Well, he rolled on the start, and truth, his race was almost run before it started, but Lindgren, this is exactly what he needed. He's powering away in front. Yeah, Lindgren looking far more composed in this one than his previous race bike. Looks like it's giving him a, a nice, easy ride this time out. Dan Bewley for a lap, didn't really know where to ride. Was finding himself in no man's land, riding mid-track, not really going wide enough. He thought he had to cover the inside as Kai Huckenbeck was putting him under plenty of pressure. But Janowski disappointing once again at the back. Indeed he is, but for Freddie Lingren, this is more like it from the man in second place in the championship right now. Picks up a very useful win when he only scored one point from his first two rides. So we're now moving on to four and back to winning ways. A handy second place for Bewley after failing to score last time. Moves on to five. So the result is here now for you. Three points for Lingren, two points for Bewley, one point for Huckenbeck and Janowski. Disappointingly failing to score. Mikkel Mickelson on the inside in red. Bartosz Schmarz leg out of gate two in blue. Anders Thompson. Going very well tonight, Anders Thompson out of gate number three in white, and Martin Vasilik likewise going well off the outside in yellow. So, heat number 11, good looking line up this. Riders in top form, here we go. Long delay. Martin Vasilik's made an absolutely oh, spectacular start, oh, but he's hit a rut. Oh, he's out of shape and he's down. He's down. Possibly the red lights will come on now. Mickelson's out in front. Schmarslik coming through into second place. Yeah, Anders red Thompson, on. the red lights are on, yep. Probably just couldn't get himself to his feet. No, yeah, his bike. bike is wedged under the fence. Yeah, bike just caught under the air fence there. Those air fences are very heavy when they're pinning your bike down like that. Shame for Martin because he made such a terrific start from the outside and now all of a sudden <coughs> with five points he's going to fail to score here. He will be excluded as yeah. a consequence. Under pressure after such a fantastic start but coming from gate four his wheels are in line as he goes across the corner and uh, bike just jumps straight across. But I would argue when we watch this again he moved his body weight back too quickly. Yeah very possibly it is the way that he rides. He is there. He sort of yeah, sits he's back, arms forward straight. on the bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the rut I think that we saw Robert Lambert hit on the entry to the to the turn earlier in the uh, meeting. So Mikkel Mickelson on the inside. So there is a rider there. Funny enough, there is a rider in gate number two as well in blue. That's Bartosz Schmarzer, like Anders Thompson off uh, gate number three in white. Uh, back in the pits. Here we go. Tapes are up. Mikkel Mickelson's made a fine start on the inside. Bartosz Smarslik settles in second place. Anders Thompson there searching for a way through. Can't quite do it. Bartosz Smarslik hasn't won a race tonight, but once again is in a point-scoring position in second place. Mickelson, though, out in front, now being chased hard by the championship leader. Can he stay there? Because Smarslik once again is looking very... Oh, here he comes! comes. 
What a move up the inside from Smarzek. Had him lined up. He hasn't got there yet. And I think he's got more work to do. But this is just another battling performance from Smarzek. He's not dominating this year. And he's having to work very hard for every single point. But that's his diminutive style. Back in the seat. Now he's going to have a chance to run across the corner. He's hey! done the job. Brilliant work. Superb effort there from Smarzek. Mickelson opened the door. Smarzek there was ready to pounce. He's had to work hard for it, but you cannot afford to give Bartosz Smarzek any racing room at all. Gratefully received by the championship leader, fires himself to the front and wins his first race of the evening. Bartosz Smarzek back to winning ways, moving on to seven points. It's more like it for him. You said he hasn't had his own way tonight. He has had to work awfully hard for his points this evening. But I sense he doesn't mind working hard for points. He almost seems to enjoy it in truth. Out in front then, three points for Smarzlik. Second place, Mickelson, two points. Anders Thompson back in third, one point for him. And Martin Vasily excluded from the initial running of heat number 11. Jack Holder on the inside in red. Max Frick alongside him in blue in gate two. Gate number three in white is Jason Doyle and Ty Wolfenden off the outside. Here we are then, heat number 12. Pressure time for the former three-time world champion and they're underway. He's made a good fist of it. Just about there, Ho Holder on the inside. Wolfenden round the outside. Down the back straight they go, it's neck and neck. Wolfenden showing now at the end of the back straight. What a move from him, really did need to do it. Absolutely up against it. When his back's against the wall, he produced there. Jack Holder on the inside. Jason Doyle running wide. A bit of a rut there coming out of turn two there with Holder lifting, but uh, managed to keep it all under control. The three Aussies in second, third and fourth here. But Wiffenden out in front, desperate for a heat win. Looks like he's just going to deliver that now. Yeah, never more needed than now on uh, zero points from his first two rides, but Ty Wiffenden... Good start from the outside gate. Had to work hard to get it over Jack Holder. I think Jack's probably happy to settle for second place. This will move him on to six points. Oh, Jason Doyle there. Another mistake from him. Yeah, it is indeed. Through the last corner, it's got very tight in front. Got to say, Holder once got a again. Problem, actually, Doyle there. Jason Doyle possibly with some sort of issue there. But uh, I reflect on Ty Wuffenden. That was a much-needed win from him, a vital win, you would suggest. But uh, nonetheless, you've got to say that Jack Holder showing great speed in second place with Wuffenden having to ride very defensively in the end. Three points for Wuffenden, two points for Holder. Doyle back in third, one for him. And Max Frick, not his night tonight so far. He fails to score. But um, there we see the position after three rides each. Seven points for Smarslick and Lambert. Holder going along nicely on six, as is Thompson. Dan Bewley on five, Vasilik the same. Doyle on five, so not a disastrous night for those guys. And Patrick Dudek on four. How tight is it? Is? It really is going to come down to the needle here with the last round of races for the semi-finals this evening. A tie Wolfenden on the inside in red then. Gate number two in blue is Freddie Lingwin. Gate number three in white. Is Martin Vasilik and off for the outside is Leon Madsen in yellow. Here we go then, heat number 13. Settling down, tapes up and we are away. Leon Madsen's made a good start. Wolfenden's there, right there on the inside. Madsen's done very yeah, well good. indeed to get round the outside there of Ty Wolfenden. Terrific effort from the, the Danish rider. Here comes Freddie Lingren now, round the outside of Ty Wolfenden. Wolfenden's going to have to hang on here, if at all possible, because Freddie Lingren is pushing super hard in third place. And Martin Vasilik all of a sudden is tailed off at the back. But for Leon Madsen, bouncing back after failing to score in his previous ride with a really good effort here. Yeah, Madsen would move on to seven points, give him a decent chance in his last one of the semi-final spot, but he really made the bike work perfectly around the first turn. And Ty uh, Wolfenden there in second place. I mean, this could be enough. He could move himself onto eight points by the end of the qualifying heats, but he's under a lot of pressure. Yeah, one ride to come for Ty Wolfenden. If he finishes in second place, it's going to be five with a ride to come. But for Leon Madsen, moving on to seven, that gives him a healthy chance of making the semi-finals tonight. Super ride from Leon Madsen. That move in the first corner really did seal the deal for him. Uh, found that little bit of extra speed, and uh, Wolfenden tried to respond but couldn't. And uh, Leon Madsen quite clearly the confidence becoming, returning. 
and uh, he wins in fine style. Freddie Lindgren pushing hard initially. Madsen out in front, three points for him. Second place, two points for Woofford and one point for Freddie Lindgren. And Martin Vasilik missing out again and all of a sudden with one ride to come. Vasilik under huge pressure now. Gate one in red though is Patrick Dudek. Gate number two in blue is Anders Thompson. Jason Doyle hasn't changed his equipment. That's a surprise, actually, for me. Five points to his name on gate number three in white. And gate number four in yellow is uh, Dan Bewley. Again, looking for more points. I'm not convinced he hasn't changed his bike there, you know, but um, uh, well, I'd be surprised if he hasn't. But there we are. So, um, uh, see how we get on. Patrick Dudek. All of these guys really looking for points. Everybody Dan Bewley, points. yeah, absolutely. So, pressure on here. Green lights on, we're underway, and Dudek made a good jump. Certainly got to the first corner in front. Bewley's going roaring around the outside. Can he get his wheels in line now? Just about gets the better of Doyle down the back straight. Allows the bike to run deep into oh, turns oh, three and four. That. Wow, that's special from Dan Bewley. Does he like going around the outside? Yes, he does. He loves going fast, and he generated plenty of speed. You won't see which way he goes now. He is clearing off out in front. Dudek in second place. Doyle coming on strong in third place with Anders Thompson out the back. But Dan Bewley stamping his authority. On heat 15. All tightening up at the back with Dudek, Doyle, and Thompson. Not a lot between them as Doyle looks up the inside. Can't quite make the move, but uh, Dan Bewley moves himself onto eight points, two race wins. Yeah. That's taking the pressure off him. Indeed it is. Bewley going out. Great guns out in front. A good tussle for second place with Dudek. Hanging on to second place under pressure early on from Jason Doyle, but the race is all about a stunning move early on in it from Dan Bewley and then shows a clean pair of heels to the opposition out in front. Superb speed, the speed we saw earlier on today where he just blew everybody away in qualifying with that stunning lap late on in his final session to break the 15 second barrier. So Dan Bewley all of a sudden looking very useful indeed. Three points for him, two points for Dudek. It's been nip and tuck for the first three rounds. They're both side by side on the exit. But who will make the break? Brilliant ride. British Superbikes Knock Hill, Saturday and Sunday, live on Eurosport 2 and Discovery Plus. together for a more sustainable world tour. DHL and Coldplay. No fluff. Just straightforward broadband at straightforward prices. That's a plus. Meet the all new MG4 EV. Say yes to comfort and practicality. Say yes to range. The all new MG4 EV. Say no to compromise. They might be your bestie, but are they McNugget worthy? so delicious. It's time to save Britain's serious money, Super 7. Today's mission, incognito. Seven cities, seven people to save. Seven out of seven, and all before seven a.m. Not bad.
when you trade in your old phone, you'll get money towards a new iPhone. Then we do the money dance. The ultimate test of a team in sports. Five months at sea, fighting through the elements for 32,000 nautical miles. And as we enter the final legs, the race is still too close to call. The Ocean Race Grand Finale with The Hague Departure on Thursday, live on Eurosport and Discovery Plus. I say, very competitive race to complete the fourth block here with uh, Smartic on the inside in red, Robert Lambert alongside him in gate number two in blue, Max Fick off the out, uh, the gate number three in white, and Maciej Janowski, who has changed his equipment, will go from the outside in the yellow helmet colour. Smartic on the inside here, Robert Lambert, he could be the major threat to the championship leader, tapes are up and we're away. Smarzik's made a smashing start, hits the first turn, holds it tight, just about there. Frick's coming up the inside of Lambert, but he's on the back wheel, lifting violently, coming out of turn two. That kills his momentum. Lambert now following Smarzik, Frick responding. Wow, where did Frick get that? But Lambert just about responding, slamming the door shot. Frick's now hugging the inside. Will it work for him coming down the back straight? Not quite. Janowski there, getting his nose chopped off down the back straight, but Smarzik, brilliant start. Yeah, Lambert really didn't know where to ride on that opening lap. He wanted to move out to the outside straight away, but Max Frick bravely riding through the ruts around the inside, finding a little bit of extra traction, putting him under a lot of pressure. Got to say that uh, Robert Lambert is maxing, uh, he's matching Smarznik up front for speed. He really is. Now he's got clear of Frick, rides where he wants, giving chase. Yudoski now putting under... Max Frick under pressure. And in front, though, Smarznik's going to pick up his second win of the evening. Going to move under double figures, 10 points for him. Robert Lambert riding very strongly in second place, showing great form. And uh, he's very much in the thick of the action this evening. And Max Frick back in third, but uh, Smarslik all of a sudden, a shake of the head from Smarslik. Don't think he's really enjoying it, but once again, showing great determination out in front. Three points for Smarslik. Lambert back in second place, two points. Mac Frick in third, one for him. And Janowski, well, unfortunately, his woes continue. There we see the position after four rides each. Ten points for Smarslik, leading the way. Great effort from Lambert on nine. Bewley on eight, as is Holder. Seven points then for Madsen and Kim Nielsen. Dudek on six, six, and Anders Thompson on six, and Doyle is on six. And tight, it is it? awfully <laughs> tight there with one ride to come. Line up then for heat number 18 is the championship leader Smarzik on the inside in red. Gate number two in blue, the wild card Kai Hülkenbeck hasn't been his night. Ty Wuffenden looking for a win here, gate number three in white. And Patrick Dudek off the outside in yellow. Tapes up, put Dudek's all over the place. He's made a hash of that. Dudek um, uh, now out of it. Smarzlik round the inside. Here comes um, Kai Hukenbeck through into second place. Gets the better of Ty Wuffenden, relegating him back to third place. Can Wuffenden repay the compliment up the inside? Very tight. Yes, he can. Forces his way into second place. I don't think that's going to be enough. Dudek now through into third place as well. But for Smarzlik, wow, what an evening he's enjoying here. Looking like he's going to finish. His qualifying race is on 13 points. Ty Wolfenden back in second place, Chris. I don't think it's going to be enough for him. No, seven points I don't think will be enough for Ty Wolfenden. Smarzlik will finish on 13. I would suggest he will have a uh, first pick of gate position in his semi-final, which will be very important. Ooh. See, Kai Hulkenberg there getting in all sorts of problems at the back. But, uh, yeah, Smarzlik started off, couldn't, couldn't win a race for a couple of races, but he certainly seems to have dialed himself in now. Yeah, finishes in style here, two inside gates in his fourth and fifth rides, and he's maximised those big time, and 
finishes on 13 points. Great effort from the championship leader once again. Who can stop him? Who can stop him? He's on a relentless charge once again. The three-time world champion, the reigning champion. Walter Schmarslik looking good here once again. Three points out in front. Two points for Ty Wuffen, and I think that's six points for him in total, in actual fact. Patrick Dudek back in third. Yeah. Oh, it is seven. Excuse seven me. Points yeah, seven Wolfen, points yeah. for Wuffenden. Excuse me. Yeah, so seven points for him. Well, at this stage, he's in the top eight, but he's vulnerable. So Anders Thompson's on the inside in red. Gate number two in blue is Freddie Lingwin on five points. Jack Holder on eight points and gate to number three in white. And gate number four in yellow is Robert Lambert, who's on nine and looking for more. But for Freddie Lingwin, the, the man in second place in the championship on five, Probably needs to win it. Here we go. A jump away, and Robert Lambert's... Oh, my goodness! Clashing hard with Freddie Lingwin there, but Robert Lambert, and Lingwin's gone to the back. Anders Thompson has benefited there with Jack Holder. Now through into second place, but Anders Thompson off the inside certainly came through strong. Look at Lambert. Lambert now coming on strong. The door is slammed shut from Jack Holder. Freddie Lingwin now trying to get up the inside of Robert Lambert, a battle for third, but Anders Thompson after a blip last time. This is a very handy ride from him. Three points here. Well, that just turns his night around. It does, and we can see how important gate pick is to these riders, because Robert Lambert, nine points, pretty much in the semi-finals, but just desperate, just for another point, give himself a slightly better gate pick in the semi-finals. Absolutely right, so they're into the final lap here in heat number 19. Anders Thompson, a return to form for the Danish rider. Of course, he won in Gorzov last year, then celebrated in his underpants. Fabulous scenes they were indeed. And Anders Thompson's through to the semi-finals with a superb ride. And heat number 19. Disappointment for Lingren. We're not going to see him now. But all of a sudden, he's vulnerable in second place in the world. But for Anders Thompson, this is exactly what he needed after a disappointing start to the year in the SGP. Robert Lambert once again working overtime there. Thompson three points. Second place, Jack Holder two points for him. Having a good night once again. Solid from Holder. One point for Lambert and Lingwood missing out. Finishing on five. Not what he was looking for. Smarzik on 13. Ten for Holder. Exactly the same for Lambert. Leon Madsen nine. Thompson on nine. So here we go then. Dan Bewley on the inside in red. Martin Vasilik on five points as well. Gate two in blue. Gate three in white is Kim Nielsen and Max Frick. He's on the outside in yellow. Frick um, uh, can't make it. Martin Vesselic can with a win. Has to win. Dan Bewley is looking for every point he possibly can do because, as you rightly say, Chris, gate positions for the semis are going to be vital if you want to get in the final tonight. So, tense times here. And uh, certainly um, uh, it's keeping the focus right through the qualifiers here this evening. Lights on, tapes are up and we're away. Bewley's made a smashing start. Vasilik is alongside him. Kim Nielsen off that gate number three is force wide. Makes a good turn back. He's up the inside. Gets the better of Vasilik. Vasilik now trying to repay the compliment round the outside. Fricks in second place. Bewley, you're not going to see which way he goes. He's going to be super quick out in front. Vasilik now coming through into third place. Trying to get the better of Kim Nielsen. Oh, oh this is not what they needed. They needed more than this, Chris. Yeah, Vasilik, he's not going to do it from there. He's going to need more than seven points. He's certainly not going to overhaul uh, Dan Bewley, who's checked out. He's in the next heat already. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, Max Frick, this is too little too late for him as well. It is indeed disappointment. Just sense this might be a reprieve for Ty Wuffenden here. Martin Vasilik now coming through in the second place. That might do him. We'll see. That will put him on to seven points. It may well be a count back here, but for that man, no such worries at all. Hit the front, silky smooth out in front. A class of his own in heat number 20, Dan Bewley. Martin Vasilik fighting for his life there. Might have been a very handy second place. And Kim Nielsen missing out there. That's a disappointment for him. There's going to be several riders finishing on seven points here. So FIM will have a count back and uh, we'll wait for the confirmation of it. Three points for Dan Bewley out in front. Smashing ride. Martin Vashlik, two points for him. Max Frick, third. 
Kim Nielsen missing out. At the moment, we've got Kim Nielsen in eighth position on seven. Wolfenden is on seven. Martin Vashlik is on seven. And so is Patrick Dudek. So there's some working out to be done there. But um, uh, certainly the riders above uh, Kim Nielsen are all safely through. And Dan Bewley on 11 there, completing his rides. Um, but Bartosz Marslik has been the dominant force here so far this evening, doing great work, finishing on 13 points. When life throws you a curve... He's on the edge of the dirt. Meaning, pick your line and hold on tight. Look at him go, absolutely dead for belt. British Speedway, Monday, 7.30, live on Eurosport 2 and Discovery+. Plus. Chicken Royale, please. Royale, Chicken Royale. All this exercise, whatever happened to my lovely life? Oh, mind your step. Brilliant. No more running. What's this? A doctor living in her phone? It's a medical breakthrough. Get a GP or physio appointment in just a few taps and access all your healthcare needs in one place. We'll have you up and running in a few days. <laughs> what? Thanks. Not on my running. watch. Hello? Goodbye, tiny doctor. Vitality Health Insurance. Healthcare at your fingertips. What do you say when your child asks, why me? When they won't use the stupid chair. When people say, it's not as good as normal tennis. What do you say when they're trying to win their fifth Wimbledon? You will always find the words. We will always connect you. Always be there on Vodafone's reliable, award-winning network. Has been doing to serve. You were meant to act spontaneously. We were made to help plan accordingly. At all protected. This isn't an ad for a car manufacturer. And it's not an ad for a car show with three blokes in it either. This is about you winning your dream car. A load of cash or both. What? Yes! Enter now at BOTB.com and you could be next. New gadget, Albert? No, this is my smart meter display. It shows how much energy I'm using daily, weekly and monthly, which could help me make changes to save energy. So it's not a time machine? Of course not, Darren. That's in the shed. For extra help managing your household budgets, search Get a Smart Meter today. <sighs> Ketchup. A triangle Whopper. New Flame Grilled Whopper flavoured Doritos. Whoa. Believe it. Plus, get a free Whopper meal offer with Doritos bags. You have four great fighters. The four kings created maybe the greatest period in the history of the sport. The Kings, Friday at 9 on Discovery. Or stream the full series now on Discovery+. Plus. Riders now, we're still waiting for the confirmation of the eighth qualif qualifier here. At, uh, on our graphic, we did see that it was Kim Nielsen, but there were four riders on seven points, so there will be some number crunching to go on here. Um, uh, it does look like it may well be confirmed for you. Um, uh, and the first uh, riders coming forward for the semi-final draw, which will be conducted by Phil Morris, the race director. And first choice for semi-final one is Bartosz Marslik, who selects the red gate position. And the second choice for semi-final one is Robert Lambert, and Robert selects the yellow gate position. 
Next to make his choice is Anders Thompson, and Anders selects the blue gate position. And the last to make his selection, uh, Jason Dahl, who takes the white gate position. So there's your lineup for the first semi final then. Smiles like uh, Thompson, Doyle, and Lambert. No surprise there, really. So uh, let's now focus on uh, semi final number two with Phil now. And the first rider to select for second semi final is Dan Bewley. Please select your colour. Dan selects the red gate position. Next to make the selection is Jack Holder and Jack selects the yellow gate position. And the third to make the selection is Leon Madsen, and Leon selects the blue gate position. And the final selection goes to Kim Nielsen, who will take the white gate position. So there we go then, semi-final number one there. You can see Kim Nilsson did make this first semi-final of his career, so congratulations to him. Dan Bewley on the inside, Liam Madsen alongside him. Kim Nilsson, gate three. Jack Holder off the outside in semi-final number two. It's round number four in the SGP World Speedway Championship. We are in northeast Germany at Tetro, Bergring Arena. Green lights on, tapes are up and we're underway. It's a level break, oh, Smarsley yeah, gets there. Get oh, out. look at Doyle oh. charging up the inside. Here comes, Here comes Lambert. Lambert. Lambert around the outside, neck and neck, with the championship leader, Smarsley there, long tracking it down the back straight. Here comes Doyle now. Anton Doyle Anton. coming through in his second place. What a move from the Australian. Right place there. What an opportunist move there. He's on the warning. Oh, Smarsley nearly off the bike. It's all going on here in semi-final number one. I tell you what, Robert Lambert must wonder what he's got to do. There was just so much going on in that opening lap. I'll tell you what, Thompson hasn't given up. He's riding wider than the two in front of him. They're riding a little bit defensive. Don't want anybody up the inside, but look at Thompson. He's coming on strong. Round the outside, Anders Thompson, they're into the final lap now. Uh, Smart League looks set, it, set for the final for sure. Jason Dahl there hanging on by the skin of his teeth. Anders Thompson now clouting the fence down the back straight. One last blast from the Danish rider. Smart League's through, and so is Doyle. What a semi final that is. Track conditions deteriorating, catching the riders out. Robert Lambert, wow, how did he stay on board on the first couple of laps? Fair play to Jason Doyle, he didn't really deserve that, but he did get in the right place, and he's through, he's through to the final. Got a feel for Thompson and Lambert. And Bewley in the box seat on the inside. Semi-final number two in Tetero. Oh, my goodness, drama. Oh, oh no. Can you believe this? Oh, he's going to be, uh, he's going to run out of time. Can you believe this? Unbelievable. Has that bike just given up the ghost? I don't know. He's trying to start it. Makes him think that you can actually stall these bikes if you're not concentrating, but seems like that may be the case. Oh, well, that's a huge blow for Dan Bewley. Got to feel for him there. Uh, he's best man on track towards the end of the meeting. Oh, such a disappointment for Dan Bewley. Ridden so well tonight. Did he just stall the bike? Because it's running now. I'm not quite sure what happened there. We didn't see it, did we, actually, the moment the bike stopped? But clearly, it was running, and, it, and he rode it back. I'd ask for my money back, not being able to see Dan Bewley now. Oh, that's so disappointing. Desperate. We were just talking about him making finals, but uh, um, down to three now, semi-final number two. Tapes are up, and we're underway. Smashing start from Jack Holder on the outside. Fast himself to the inside in the first corner. Oh, Leo Madsen now, Kim Nielsen up the inside of Leo Madsen, forcing his way through into second place. Smart move from Kim Nielsen, set for his first ever final. It's his first semi final. Will he now make that into a final? What a night that will be for him. But for Jack Holder, this is exactly what he needed to do. It's tough out there now. Track conditions have deteriorated. Kim Nielsen coming on really strong in second place. Liam Madsen in third, but for Holder, he looks like a finalist to me. Yeah, he certainly does. I tell you what, Liam Madsen was just far too cautious the way he was riding the bike on the opening lap. 
And uh, Kim Nilsson taking full advantage of that, makes his first semi-final tonight, makes his first race win tonight. Looks like he's going to make his first final. Fantastic. What? Yeah, fantastic achievement for, for Jack Holder. The consistency at Grand Prix is staggering. Fabulous performance from him. He's through to another final. Should have won in the Naladovi, but he's made three consecutive finals now. And he's a man in top form. And he's going to keep this championship chase tight because he's going to leapfrog Freddie Lingwin. There's every chance of that now. And Jack Holder's through with Kim Nielsen. Well done to Kim Nielsen. Through by the skin of his te teeth on seven points and he makes his first final. Wow. And the first rider to pick his gate for the final is Bartosz Smarzlik, who goes straight for the red gate position. Next to make the choice is Jack Holder. Jack, select your colour, please. Jack selects the yellow gate position. And next to make the selection is Jason Doyle. And Jason selects the blue gate position. And making his first final, Kim Nielsen gets left with the white gate position. Pretty impressive. So here we go then. Start Marshall just about happy moving away. Green lights on and we're underway. Doyle made a good start, but Smarzik's made a better one. Smarzik round the inside, holds it there. Doyle through into second place. Kim Nielsen holding Jack Holder. No, he can't. Holder coming through into third place. Smarzik out in front. Just got to keep it all together. If he can, he's going to win another Grand Prix. He won the opening round in Croatia. Hasn't managed to win since then, but he's looking good for his second win of the season now. Bartos Smarzik. Yeah, Smarzlik faultless towards the end of this meeting. Absolutely fantastic stuff from him. Jason Doyle, after a difficult night last time out in Prague, will be very happy with second place. This race seems to be settling down. And uh, Jack Holder, Mr. Consistent, he's there again. Another podium if he can stay in third place. Indeed he will. They've stretched out. It's not the most Ooh, exciting the final. A little bit of a twitch there from Bartos Smarzlik on the final lap. <laughs> Through the final corner for the final time here in Tetro. Bartos Smarzlik stretches the lead once again. Oh, fabulous stuff from him. Terrific uh, return to form for Jason Doyle in second place. And Mr. Consistent certainly is Jack Holder. Back in third place, delight for Bartosz Marslik. Many congratulations to the world champion. Certainly a touch of relief as well, I would suggest. So there's the result then for you. Bartosz Marslik wins in fine style. Doyle in second place, Jack Holder in third. Kim Nielsen in his first ever final, just missing out on the rostrum. But nonetheless, I'm sure he'd be chuffed to bits in making his first final. It's been a special evening for him. Well, there's the points on the night, obviously the big points being dished out there. 20 uh, for Smarzlik, Doyle on 18, Handy 18 for him, Jack Holder on 16, Kim Nilsson 14. Uh, we've rattled through the other ones for you earlier on with Leon Madsen still picking up a handy 12 points there. Yeah, your round four winner here in Tetro Journey is the current championship leader, Bartosz Smarzlik. Bartosz, you've had four podiums here, now your first win in Tetro. Yes, of course, I many times been here in the final, but never win. And today, so first time for me in uh, winning Tetro, and I'm very happy and proud about this. Yeah, terrific effort from uh, Bartosz Smarzlik. And uh, once again, uh, winning a Grand Prix, second time this year, and the first time in Tetro. So, Clearly delighted with that. We'll update you with the championship standings now, which is the all-important graphic that we were looking forward to there. 12-point lead, three points coming into it. Wow, that is a move from Smarzlik. Great move from Jack Holder. He's going the right way uh, on 58. Doyle into third place now, 54. Freddie Lindgren slipping down a couple of places into fourth. Martin Vasilik hanging on in fifth. Leon Madsen into sixth place now, so moving forward alongside Robert Lambert on 42 points and Dan Bewley on 41. And then there's a gap to Ty Wuffenden in ninth. But uh, nonetheless, it's a significant move from Bartosz Schmarslik and he returns to uh, his homeland and his, uh, his hometown in Gorjov in two weeks' time, so it's looking good for him. So once again, Schmarslik on top of the box. Terrific night for him. 
not just because of the win, but also when he reflects on the points he's gathered and the lead he has over the opposition, it really has been a fruitful night for him. And two Australians either side of him. Another evening of great drama here at the Bergen Arena. In two weeks' time, we head to Gorshoff. See you there. This program is presented by Infinite Reality, powering the ultimate fan experience in the metaverse.